Hey everyone, Tamara here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a left hand path occultist here to share with you guys my gnosis and my experiences so that you can continue to thrive as you walk your spiritual path. Why is dark witchcraft considered taboo within our society? When the benefits are pretty obvious when it comes to practicing dark witchcraft. It integrates your divine feminine energy. It helps you to do in-depth shadow work. It helps you to connect and have powerful relationships with very divine higher dimensional spirits. And of course, it helps you to alchemically evolve yourself so that you can gain the right knowledge and power that you need in order to elevate your consciousness out of this 3D realm. So with me having, having listed all those benefits, I still come across people, whether in real life or on YouTube, that like to think that dark witchcraft is evil, it's malicious, and that if you practice it, you are damning yourself to the hell realms. And mind you, there's certain witches on YouTube, people that call themselves witches, that say those types of things. Now, I'm not going to mention names, I'm not going to mention any channels, but they are so-called witches within the YouTube communi community that will tell you to stay away from working with demons. Because if you're working with demons, you are damning your soul eternally and they are lying to you and they are taking advantage of your ignorance. That's what this one witch said on YouTube. For me personally, demons have helped me to embody my highest potential, that being my daemon, right? I would have never been able to get to where I am right now without the help of darker forces. So darker forces are still being seen as malevolent. And you know what? That's okay. This knowledge is not for everyone. It's not for everyone. Walking the dark path and wanting to gain dark enlightenment is not for everyone. That's why so few people are truly willing to walk the left-hand path. Because they just don't have what it takes. And I'm starting to think that not everyone is even supposed to get out of the matrix of this whole dimension that we live in. I think there's certain souls that are meant to stay stuck in this realm for a very, very long time to be used as batteries to empower people and higher dimensional forces that want to reclaim their power, right? So it's useless to try and teach people this information when they're not ready to hear it. Let them stay being a battery so that we can feed off of them, right? Because clearly they don't want to evolve and they want to make false claims of ancient practices. These practices such as dark magic, dark witchcraft, has been used for liberation since ancient times, right? But not everyone is truly tapped into the energy. 
of these forces, right? That's why they can't communicate with them properly. They can't understand how these energies work. They, they don't feel these forces in their life. And when people fail to connect with these demons or dark gods and goddesses, they demonize them, right? Because maybe these demons and dark gods and goddesses truly don't favor these people. And I'm not trying to sound elitist as if I'm special and whatever, but sometimes when we don't get what we want in life, we don't want to blame ourselves. We want to blame other people. We want to say it's the demon's fault. It's the dark God's fault. It's this person's fault. It's that spirit's fault. It's this. It, it. You don't want to look at yourself, right? It's because you haven't put in enough energy you haven't done the energetical work to connect with these forces properly. So therefore, you say, don't work with these forces. Don't work with them. They're evil. Stay away from them. Just because you can't connect with them properly. So when people see real witches, real dark magicians, real black magicians with power, people want to say that or oh, they want to make us feel like we don't deserve our power because they can't obtain it for themselves. Yeah, I truly think that's what it boils down to within these communities and with people in general. When they can't have what you have, they'll try and make you feel bad for having it. But I'm here to tell you guys that dark witchcraft is the ultimate tool for your liberation. It's the ultimate tool to help you to understand yourself and this world that we live in and for you to be your most authentic self. I think a lot of people are drawn to magic because they want the aesthetics of it but they don't actually want to do the work, right? I've said before in another video titled why real spirituality doesn't sell that when it comes to doing dark witchcraft you actually have to put in work it's not a quick fix so certain people don't want to put in that work so they will say dark magic doesn't help you you're condemning yourself to the hell realms it's evil when in actuality they just can't connect with these forces at all. They haven't put in the work. I think a lot of people cannot handle enlightenment truly, real enlightenment. A lot of people can't handle the loneliness that comes with it. A lot of people can't handle the, the knowledge that you even gain from working with these beings. A lot of people can't handle the truths that you start to see within this reality that we live in. Once you start working with these beings properly, people can't handle that. They want to stay safe within their love and light bubble and with whatever else they're doing because dark magic and dark witchcraft is too painful for a lot of people. It's too, it's too much.
you see the world how it truly is and let me tell you guys something it's not pretty this world yes is fucked up you see all the chaos you see all the suffering you see all the pain you see all the the trauma you see you see all the crazy shit in this realm and a lot of people can't handle that. Hence why they say dark witchcraft is evil and bad and that you must stay away from it. Because they themselves cannot handle the truth that comes with these practices. So if you guys know and you're watching this video, you know you cannot handle these energies. Stay away from from these energies. Stay away from witchcraft and dark witchcraft in general and stop telling other people that we shouldn't practice this stuff just because you can't. Stay away. All right, so that is my message for today as to why is dark witchcraft still seen as taboo. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care and...